Marhaba, ahlan wa sahlan. Welcome to Seyarti. Welcome to my car. We are um, on the road and welcome to module five. Oh, I bet you can't see my fingers, but welcome to module five. So today we are going to um, discover some words and phrases in transportation and around the town, Bellid. So let's get started. Right now I am driving my car. I'm driving my car and I am going to turn right. So I'm going to turn on my blinker or my turn signal and make a right turn now. And my hands are on the steering wheel and I'm turning right and somebody <laughs> somebody just honked at me. Does that mean I'm a bad driver? I don't think so. Ma bezunhek. I think they're the bad driver. <laughs> So now I am driving straight, Dahri, straight. I am, I'm driving straight. And I think I will turn left now. Nobody's behind me. So I'm turning on my left turn signal. I don't even know what that's called. And we turn left and now I am driving straight. So this is the steering wheel and um, down here is the gas pedal um, that we, we press or we push in order to go, ruh. And there is the brake and the brake pedal is what we press to stop. This is the rear view mirror. This is the rear view mirror. And we look into this to see cars behind us. And I will turn left. This mirror here is the left side view mirror. And we have the right side view mirror. And this is the control panel. So this is where you would control the heat. You might turn on music with the radio. And then these buttons control the speed. We have cruise control. Cruise control is what you can set to go a certain speed. So if you want to go 55, you can set your cruise control and the car will maintain that speed. So now we are going to a train station and I will teach you some words and phrases at the train station. So I look forward to that. Oh, there's a car behind me, so I cannot merge. Merging is when you turn into, you, when you merge, you merge into a lane, but you have to check your mirror to make sure that there are no cars coming. And here we are at the train station. Well, hello, we survived the car ride. I drove my car to the bus station. I drove my car to the bus station. But what do we say when we want to, to take a bus or a train or an airplane? We take a bus, we take a taxi, we take uh, the subway, we take an airplane. And you can think about the word take when you're using transportation that involves a lot of people, ashas katir. So past tense, um, I took a taxi, I took the train, I took a plane. Another important phrase is the phrasal verb to get on and to get off. So we get on a bus or we get off the bus. We get on a bus or we get off a bus. 
we get on a train. We get on a train and then we take the train into the city. And then we get off the train once we arrive in the city. Another important verb that we should know is the verb ride. And the verb ride is commonly used with things we sit on. So I ride my bike into town or I rode my bike into town. Um, I ride my motorcycle. Uh, he is riding his moped, um, past tense. He rode his motorcycle into town. He rode his bike. He rode his unicycle. So the verb to ride or road. All right, well, let's head over to the train station and check out, um, check out some things and check out a bus. Here we are at the bus and train station. I'm going to get on the bus. So let's hop on the bus. So I got on the bus and now I'm going to take the bus to Chicago. I'm going to take the bus to Chicago. So here we are in the train station. This is a train station and it's where we wait. We wait for people who are coming in on the train. And it is also where we wait to get on the train if we are going to be a passenger on a train. So welcome to the train station. Here we are outside the train station. You know, trains and railroads are at the heart of American culture. We would say it's railroads and trains are quintessential America. It's a big part of our culture. Railroads have been used for many, many years to transport materials across our nation and also to transport people. And it also has been quite a dangerous industry in the past for those workers who worked for the railroad system. This is an old caboose that was created in the 1940s. And a caboose is where the conductor would sleep, where the conductor, the, the person who took charge of the train, I guess drove the train, would live and sleep and eat. It was also a hub of activity for those who worked on the train. They would spend time in the caboose. So this is a caboose. Let's go. I'm going to drive my caboose to the city. Actually, this is not a steering wheel. This is the brake. This is the brake of the caboose. All right, well, let's ride on off to our next destination in town. Well, welcome to the coffee shop. We're here in a popular coffee shop here in the city that I am in. Coffee shops in the United States have become a popular meeting place. People meet in coffee shops for job reasons. They meet just to catch up. Um, friends might meet at a coffee shop to drink some coffee, have a latte and catch up. Students often come to coffee shops to study. And some people even have job interviews in coffee shops. Hi. Morning, Kim. How are good you? Morning. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for meeting me here. Yeah, I'm thank you. I'm excited to talk to you about uh, the opportunity that you are looking to work at this coffee shop. It's going to be hopefully an awesome opportunity for you to work for us. Yes, I hope so. Kim, tell me about your experience uh, in the work environments before this. Sure. Well, I was a flight attendant for a couple of years and had a lot of contact, obviously, and interaction with the public on all of my flights. And I also was a waitress before that for different restaurants. And then I worked for an insurance company in customer service. So I've had a lot of experience with 
customers. Well, that's great because here at the coffee shop, we serve our customers from giving them coffee to seeing if they need anything else, cleaning up, just the normal things of making people feel welcome when they come into our coffee shop. Yeah, that's great. I think I would be a great fit for the coffee so shop. It just seems like a wonderful place to work and I would love the opportunity. Great. Well, we looked over your resume and we will continue to connect with you in the future uh, concerning this position. We are looking at other people, and so we'll get back to you when we make a decision. Thank you, Kim. Okay, thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hello. Hi. How are I'm, you today? I'm good, how are you? Good, thank you. What can I get for you? Um, I would like a small, flat white. Perfect. Is that gonna be it for you today? Um, actually, can I also get a pastry? Um, do you have any that you'd recommend? Yeah, I like the chocolate croissant. Ooh, okay. I'll take chocolate croissant. Perfect. And do you take debit or credit? We take both. Both? Yep. Okay. Your total is going to be $5. All right. All right, you're all set. Okay, do I wait here? Uh, the coffee will be done at the next counter. Okay, thank you so much. Absolutely. Hi, welcome in. Oh, hi. Is there anything I can help you find today? Um, I think, I think for now I'm just looking, but maybe in a little bit. Okay, yeah, just let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much. Of course. like this. I don't see a price tag. Um, I don't see a price tag on it. Do you know how much these are? Oh, that's strange. Um, let me go check in the back real quick. Okay, thank you. Wow, this is, this is so cool. I love this store. This store is amazing. I love it. I think I need some of these. All right, so it looks like this is going to be 50. Oh, it's 50. Yes. Okay, $50. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Uh, of course, no problem. Is it okay if I try these on? Yeah, of course, go right ahead. Okay, I'm gonna try these on, see if they fit. Try them on. Ooh, soft. Oh, those are nice. Let's see what the price is. These are cashmere, cashmere, very soft. I did want to let you know that we do have a sale going on right now. Um, in the back to your right, we have a sale rack and it's men's and women's. Oh, awesome. Just, uh, Thank you for letting me know. Of course, yeah. Sales, sales. Actually, really do love this shop. It's a cool shop. Some bags. These are um, bags, and then this we would call a backpack. Backpack, and maybe these would be uh, tote bags. And this size would be a purse, unless you're from the East Coast, and there we would call it a pocketbook. So, is this pretty true to size? I see it's a large. Yeah, that one runs pretty true to size. Mm -hmm. it, runs, it runs true to size. So I think I kind of want an oversized look, but can I try this on? Yeah, of course. I can take that from you and we have fitting rooms right over here. Okay, I will follow you there. Thank you so much. There you go. Yeah, let me know if you need me to grab you a different size. Okay, thank you. What do you think? Should I buy it? It's kind of comfortable. All right, I think I'm gonna buy it. 
I think I'm gonna buy it. Did you find something? I did. I think Wonderful. I'm gonna get this shirt and it's great that it was on sale. Awesome, yes. This store is so cool. How long has this been open? Thank you. Um, it's actually been open for nine years now. Oh, really? Yeah, wow. pretty long time. Yeah, this is one of my favorite stores here. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. How long have you worked here? I have worked here about six or seven months. Okay. I like your tattoo, that's pretty. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Just fold this up for you. All right, it's gonna be 58.29, and this is final sale, is that okay? Okay, yep. Awesome. You can insert or tap your card right there. Okay, so when I tap my card, does it matter which way? No. Okay. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, you might have to hold it there a little bit longer, yeah. Oh, Perfect, okay. that went through. It went through, okay. And would you like a bag today? Actually, I brought my own bag. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, so I'm turning over a new leaf. Nice. <laughs> and I'm bringing my own bags. And would you like a receipt? Yes, I would love a receipt. Okay, please. I can print you one or I can email you one. Um, could I possibly do both? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Let's email first. What is a good email address? You know, on second thought, why don't, um, why don't you just print me out a receipt? Okay, sounds good. There's that receipt for you. All right. And what is your return policy? Oh, you told me this is, okay, so because yeah, yeah. it's a sale item, it's come, uh -huh. it's, uh, what, what word did you Final mean? sale. Final sale. Okay, I can live with that. <laughs> Good. Well, thank you so much. Of course, thanks for stopping in. I'm glad you found something. Yes, me too. I'm excited. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye. So when, um, when we walk downtown, sometimes... We don't go into the stores. We just do some window shopping. So we like to admire the things inside the shop from the sidewalk. It's called window shopping. Look at these beautiful things in the window. And maybe we can warm ourselves by the fire. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. <laughs> this is so nice though, an outdoor little spot where you can get warm. So when we walk in town, we walk on the sidewalk, sidewalk. And if you follow me here, I will point out a few more important words to know. Very important word is chocolate, chocolat, chocolate. So we have street signs, the names of the streets, those are the street signs, and we have the crosswalk signs. When uh, you are crossing a crosswalk, which we will be crossing shortly, you want to cross when the little lit up person is lit up. So should we, should we cross? Right now, the hand is saying, don't cross but you still have time, a few seconds. So this is a fire hydrant. If there, if this restaurant, Il Matam, if it was uh, caught fire, then the fire trucks would come. They would hook up their hoses to the fire hydrant and put out the fire. Should we go and have lunch here? that this restaurant is serving lunch outside right now in the winter, but in the summer and in the spring and in the fall, this is a lovely place to come. Okay, so here in the United States, in schools all over the United States, kids would always start their day by saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I did it growing up. And so the children would stand up, they would look at the American flag, they would put their hand, right hand over their heart, and they would say, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States 
of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, thank you so much for joining me today on our module around town. I had a lot of fun and I hope you did too. I hope you learned lots of new words and phrases. Ma'asalama. Bye-bye for now.